So this is the main page of my website. You can enter as a customer or as an employee. If you enter as a customer, you're directed to a login page where you can either register a new user or just log in. Uh, let's create a new user. Let's use test, test for password, test one for first name, and test two for last name. You can register and then use these credentials. Test for password and log in. And then we can see uh, the products available in an order form. The first name and last name are already entered, but can be updated. And then we can choose whatever we want of the products. Let's say Stan Smith and address, Tim Buick, for example. And then let's say we choose second day for $9.99. As you can see, the price is $75 and $9.99. And then when we place the order, there's an order confirmation and there is the total price. Um, then we can return to the main page and log in as an employee. We can use credentials that already exist. Hello, one is password. And in order to create a new um, employee, we have to already be an employee, so we have to log in with our credentials. Uh, so we can register a new employee, and we can use the same thing, the same words, test, 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 test one, and test two. We can add the employee, and then we can also enter as that employee. Test, new test, and we log in. And we're taken to this plate. So we have um, that option, and we can also add new products, update, delete, or manage orders. We can add a product by using the name, giving it a name, for example, shoes, white shoes, a link to a picture, let's see, um, copy image address, and then we can use a click here. Let's say the price is $20 and there is 20 available. We add the product and as you can see it's right here. Then we can also update it. Update a product. Let's say we want to update number one. So we just enter a new name. Yeezys for example. Description Adidas shoes. And we use a new link. That we can just put in here and the price is 200 and there's 10 available we edit and as you can see it's right here and then we can also delete a product let's say we don't like the one that we added so we just take that number six and we delete it and it's not there anymore and then we can manage orders and there's the order that we placed before and we can also um which we can delete Let's say we want to delete number four because it's already processed. And complete it. So let's delete it. Then we go here and it's not there anymore. We can edit, let's say, the order that we already placed, number seven. So we just click edit order. And then here we can just edit, say, we want to charge $100 now. Or we can change the address as well, uh, 595 map. And we just edit the order. And if we go to manage orders, it's already edited right here. And that's my project. Thank you, for, thank you so much for watching.